Hey guys, I'm Rob from Mr. Homeowner, and I recently just got this uh, char griller Gravity 980 uh, gravity fed smoker grill. It's awesome. Um, I've cooked a couple things on it so far. I did some chicken breast last night. I'm actually doing some ribs right now, but I wanted to go through some troubleshooting steps. Uh, if you guys have one of these, or if you end up getting one, uh, you may have some questions on on how to how to run it or um, what like standard operating procedure to use with these. Uh, so when you're lighting these, uh, you want to have the hopper all the way open. You want to have the bottom of the firebox here totally open. You want to have the fan totally open. You want to have the blade removed, the fire uh, fire blocker blade. There's a spot on the back you can hang that. And then you also want to have this rear damper all the way open as well. There's my dog. So you want to have this all the way open as well. From what I've cooked so far, I've had the damper open 100% the entire time. And it, it stays within temp. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fluctuate like your oven does. You may not realize it because you, your oven is constantly saying 350 the whole time. But yeah, what happens is your oven loses a little bit of temp, it fires back up, probably hits 355-ish and then comes back down about 350 for a little bit. And then when it drops down to like 340, because it's not going to hold that temp forever. When it drops down to like 330, you know, 340 or so, it's going gonna, it's gonna to heat back up to about 350. So there's always a swing. Um, Chuggler says there's about a 5% swing you can expect, high and low. Um, when I was doing a chicken breast last night, I had it set to 350. And I, I saw it swing from like 367 down to about 342. When it would hit 342, the fan would kick on until about 347 or so, and then it would kick off. And then it would carry up to about 350, 352, 353. So you're going to see that on this as well. Um, but yeah, it, it holds temp pretty well. I've done wood, um, actually today, with these, with the, I'm not going to open it again, I don't want to lose any more heat. Uh, with, with the ribs here, I had three uh, pretty good sized chunks of cherry wood. Uh, it's a rib video, it should be coming out uh, this evening or tomorrow. Uh, check that out. Um, yeah, I put them right in the firebox. I opened it up later, they were gone. I didn't notice any big swings up or down. It still say I'm, I'm doing about 225 all day long uh, with it currently. Um, so I got some notes here. Um, so if you do experience problems with temperatures going way high, way low, it's not getting up to temp, it's, it's this and that. Um, so you want to ask yourself, did you deviate from standard procedures for using this? Uh, you want to make sure, you know, you have the hopper all the way open, the, the bottom of the, of the firebox open, the fan open. Light your charcoal using a, uh, a fire starter, like those little tumbleweed guys, those little blocks. Uh, put it right up in there. Light it. Let it go for about three, three to five minutes. I've, I've been doing three minutes. Once it's lit, shut it all down and and turn on the turn on the, the power here. Set your temp and let it go. Um, if you're having any issues with that, uh, you want to ask yourself, uh, you know. What was your lighting technique? You know, you don't want to use any lighter fluid or, or anything crazy like that. Just use a, one of those little fire starters. If you don't have one of those, take a little paper towel, kind of twist it up, and you can stick that in there. You can use that to light it as well. Um, now, another question is, if you're having issues, have you modified the grill in any way? You don't want to modify anything on it. You don't want to add, you know, you don't want to add any, any type of gaskets, or anything, um, the, uh, the especially these the felt gaskets, uh, because what happens is this is this is, I mean, aside from from this being open here, this is airtight. There's a, there's a rubber flap that goes over the fan when it's not running. So when the fan's not running, there's no air coming in or out of that fan. If you have a if you have a gasket in here like a um, uh, like a felt gasket or, or some other material that's not that's not ready for air pressure, when that fan kicks on, it's going to push that smoke and, and hot air and everything right through there, which is going to allow more charcoal to get lit, which in turn 
is going to allow more hot air to come in and then your temperatures are going to go up and down. Well, mostly up. Um, I've not experienced, uh, I mean, I've, I've seen a little bit of leakage right around here, right when I'm, right when the, it starts to get lit. Um, but that, it ends up dissipating. It's a, it's a soft um, silicone gasket that they have uh, from the factory up there. Um, and, and you're going to see that with, with everything breaking in. You're, you're going you're gonna to see that. Uh, you don't want to put any, any felt gaskets or anything along the sides. Just leave it how, how they designed it and how they made it. Um, that's, that's how you're going to get the best, you know, the best out of this, out of this grill you bought. Um, if you have any issues, you want to contact support at trogriller.com and you want to tell them, you know, yes, I, you know, here's how I lit it. You know, I, I had the hopper all the way open. I had the firebox all the way open. I had the fan door open. I had the, uh, the exhaust up here, the, the rear vent open, and I had taken out that blade. You lit that fire starter, you let it go about three minutes, and then you shut everything down, fired it up, and set your temp. Um, you also want to let them know if you've modified it at all, if you have any felt gaskets or, or any, any other type of aftermarket gaskets you've added. Um, you don't want to do that. Um, now, if, if you're, another thing, if, if you're having issues with the, with the temp that's coming out from here, if this is saying, you know, if you have it set to 250 and it's showing 300 degrees, you know, get a, uh, an external, therm or external thermometer um, or, you know, temp, you know, temp probe, stick that in there and just, just kind of cross check to see what, what kind of temps you're getting there. Maybe there's, there's, you know, the one you got maybe has an issue with, with the computer here or something. Maybe there's something going on there. Um, or maybe it's, it's right and there's, there's something else going on. So you want to check that. Um, you want to check the seals on the top of the hopper for any leaks. If you, if you see excessive smoke coming from the top of the hopper, um, then you might want to, you might want to email them for support. Um, the, uh, and that, yeah, that's just about it. There's, there's a couple things to check. Like I said, that, that fan, it has a, uh, has like a rubber flap. So when the fan is off, it falls back down covering the fan. That way no air is coming in or out. And when the fan starts, it opens up and lets the air flow through uh, up into the grill. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, down below in the description here, I'll link the, uh, a couple of, of interesting articles. There's a FAQ. You can, you can read uh, about the Trigriller um, Gravity 980. You can read through that. There's a, I read through that earlier today. There's a lot of great bullet points on there. You know, what, what to do if this happens, what to do if that happens. Um, and you can always contact support. Uh, they're super helpful. If you have any issues with their support, give me an email, robertmrhomeowner.com. Um, I'll see what I can do to help you out. Uh, but anyway, Ed, any other questions or anything, put them in the description or put them down below and uh, I'll help you out as much as I can as well. But yeah, I hope you guys, uh, if you get one, hope you enjoyed as much as I've been enjoying this one so far. I've only had it a few days, um, but uh, really enjoying this. These ribs are going to taste awesome. Do you want to see them one more time? There they are. All right. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Share this out if you know somebody who's got one of these or is having issues. And uh, thanks again. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.